I'm a big proponent of doing things way better than the competition. And what I mean by way better is more creative. So as, as Nick said, which is really nice, was that, you know, there's not too many people that think in the way that I do. And, and the truth is there is, but it's just so rare that um, for whatever reason that you don't see it very much. And, and even if you do, see, even if there, you do see it, you don't even know you see it sometimes. And I'll explain that in a second. So what I want to talk about this first kind of strategy is uh, always having a bigger idea. And it's an idea that's so big that it's not just a little bit better than what your competitor is doing and you're not trying to catch up to them. You're not looking to the market to see what's our, what are people already doing and then how can I just like do this a little bit better or how can I just do the same thing as somebody successful and you just copy what somebody else is doing. Um, and really what this requires is that creativity to be able to think so far ahead or think so far above that when you do implement a strategy, it's usually easy to do actually. These big ideas are, are, are really, they're hard to come up with, which is why I'm going to provide a framework as much as I can, because I've been, this, this stuff is kind of formulating how to teach it is kind of new to me. So it's not going to be perfect, but I do have some frameworks to get you guys uh, started. But when you have these, these, these big ideas, they're usually pretty easy to uh, put into to practice because they're so big. Um, people tend to accept bigger, bigger ideas with less resistance than smaller ideas. Um, case in point, you guys remember Elizabeth Holmes? This is so recent. She started that company that supposedly was supposed to prick your blood from your finger and then be able to analyze and figure out everything from diseases, this and that. Basically all the blood tests you'd normally do that have to be taken away to a big machine, the size of fucking five, like Canon print, uh, giant, like photocopy mirrors and takes two days in order to figure out what's in your blood. This miraculous little contraption can prick your finger and, and, and figure it out in like 10 minutes or something. Anyways, the scam was so big. Her, I think her company was built, uh, valued at $9 billion. She had like political and celebrities and high profile people on the board. And she basically tricked everybody. The product didn't work. There wasn't nothing to it. Um, but the lie was so big and she was so good at persuading, everyone believed it. Adolf Hitler talks about this in, in his book, Mein Kampf. He talks about the, the big lie. If you say something uh, so big enough that nobody would believe you have the audacity to lie. And so it's almost automatically believed. Um, same with like the Enron scams and some of these, some of the biggest scams of all time. Now, of course, I'm not saying to fucking scam people. What I'm trying to tell you is that Big ideas are accepted, celebrated. Um, people will help you with them more. Uh, big ideas are more exciting. And, uh, and most, most importantly, it puts you ahead of your competition by fucking light years.